Whether you voted early or you're voting tomorrow, South Carolina says they're protecting your vote. Our Jason Raven tells us what the state has done to keep the election secure. Earlier this year, when state lawmakers passed the law establishing two weeks of early voting here in South Carolina, they also made changes to the state's election laws. Now, lawmakers say those changes made elections here more secure. State election officials say when you cast your ballot Tuesday, have the peace of mind it will be counted. Our election results in South Carolina are accurate. Our election process is secure and it's also transparent. Under the legislation signed into law earlier this year, state lawmakers made voter fraud a felony in South Carolina, established a new hotline ran by the state law enforcement division where you can report voter intimidation, vote buying, or other election crimes. Now, officials say the penalties for election crimes can range up to $10,000 in fines and up to 10 years in prison. The lawmakers also expanded post-election audit requirements. They will do this in public, in front of everyone, anyone can come see. So I think that's a really good thing to just show that, hey, we trust the results, but we do check behind them, and we want to make sure that anyone who wants to check behind with us can be a part of the process, too. And results from these hand count audits are posted on the State Election Commission's website. And officials say their goal is to balance election security and transparency. They also have safeguards in place at your precinct. Anyone who comes in to either vote or be a poll watcher must provide an ID. We know everyone who has entered the polling place has shown their ID or shown that they are who they say they are. As an added measure of security, state election officials say the voting system is never connected to the Internet. Computers used to tabulate votes, voting machines, and scanners do not have the capability of connecting to the Internet. In Columbia, Jason Raven, 7 News. The state says... 560,000 people took advantage of early voting in South Carolina.